Wait, let me tell you what, those fish are heavy. Woo! Get him, get him, out, boy. Oh, nice fish, too. Ooh, daddy. Dude. <laughs> That's Boom. Stud. What I'm talking about. Wow. Hey gang, today I am in beautiful Cedar Key, Florida, one of my favorite places here on the west coast of Florida with one of my favorite guys. We've been filming together for many, many years, friends for many years. So uh, looks like we got a beautiful day. I we mean, definitely do. Yeah, we got a gorgeous day. It could get a little warm actually, uh, even though it's still not crazy warm season. What, uh, what are you thinking is on the agenda for today? We got us a big menu for the day. We're gonna, we're gonna do some going for the fences, so to speak. Um, we got some big, schools with some big snook around so we're gonna we're gonna try that and see if kind of mood they're in <laughs> and then we're gonna we got some smaller tarpon in the 40 50 60 pound range we're gonna we're gonna try that after that and we're gonna find out what kind of mood they're in okay and if that fails then we're gonna go plan c or d or e whatever it takes yeah one of the uh one of the best things you can do when you go to a new area is fish with a guy who's been guiding somewhere for a long time and the good news is that's what we got today in Danny Allen, so we'll see what the good Lord gives us. I can't wait to get fishing. Today I am in Cedar Key, Florida with my old buddy, Captain Danny Allen. This is a very, very cool little town here, uh, just about to the bend uh, of, of Florida, um, near in the Panhandle, about an hour, hour and a half just north of Crystal River. Danny, I, I mean, I've been fishing up here with you for a long time, and I don't remember a, a big snook fishery being part of the I mean I know you've probably always had some but is it just getting better and better it's getting better and better yeah we you know we're just getting them mild warm winters uh, they're adjusting you know they're spawning you know we've had them way offshore in spring fed scenarios for 20 something years that we know of there you go that's what I'm talking about there you go but apparently we have them now you know what I mean uh, apparently <laughs> and they're good ones Got that? That's that Zulu, right? The uh, this is the uh, provoker. Oh, okay, the provoker. Molting, right. provoker, and molting. I didn't watch exactly which one you. Put I on. just figured, you know, mullet is so big in this estuary. Yeah. So I figured that molting to me really looks like this is a really good fish. Right on, right on. Yeah, it's nice, big. Oh, big. You know, I think what's interesting about Cedar Key is I've been fishing with Danny for probably 12, 13 years now, and. You know, it always seems to be uh, big trout, redfish, triple tail occasionally. Um, those seem to kind of be the mainstays in this area. Uh, but, you know, over the last couple of years, we've, we've really been kind of fortunate up there because uh, the snook fishery has grown. And uh, it adds a new dimension to this part of the west coast of Florida. The problem with this deep water you can't see them to kind of see where your hook is set. So you don't know how much of that leader's in their mouth, you know, that rough mouth, go right through that leader and they can go bye bye Yeah. Hey, all I can think of right now is if you need help, you just let me know. I mean, I'm, if you, yeah. <laughs> You're here for I'm me? here for you, yeah. <laughs> That's Always boy. am, but yes, I am, you are. especially right now, <laughs> just in case he's too much, you know what I mean? No, I don't, I don't think he's too much, but he's, he's not happy, I can tell you that. Well, at least he ain't. Coming up top, coming up top, yeah. yeah. That's a good breakfast snook right there. You want the net, you're just gonna do it by hand, big dog. Oh, uh, I think I can get him by yeah, hand. I I think he looks hand. pretty calm. I think you've got him. No, he sees, look at the size of that thing, huh? Look at the size of that morning snook, dude. <laughs> Ooh, that line is beat up. Yeah, I figured it was. We had him hooked in a good spot, though. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of that thing. Woo! Come on, son. Come get you some, Captain Danny Allen. <sighs> Breakfast in Cedar Key, baby. I'm gonna bring him up and get a shot. Yeah, we got to We got to get a shot of him quick, and then get her get her back in the water. These big breeders are so they're so important to this estuary. Look how big that fish is. Look at the back thickness, belly. That is an incredible snook right there. Tail a little beat up. She's been traveling oh, yeah. with some others. Yeah. yeah. Boom. 
It's like my third cast of the morning. Uh huh. That is a beautiful snook right there. Big female. Gorgeous fish. Look at the head on it. You got some big mitts. It's way bigger than your mitts. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> nice. Spectacular, Danny. You know, I don't, I don't know that in my 25, 30 years of fishing here in Florida that I've ever had the opportunity to target big snook in 15 to 20 foot of water uh, quite the way we did, especially with artificial baits, um, you know, like we were able to do here this morning. Uh, really unique, and, and that's one of the cool parts about, you know, a great captain. You know, they really get to know their estuary. They get to know their fishery. Not only being able to find fish, but being able to figure out how to catch them in, in all these different scenarios. And, and that's what makes a truly great captain. And, and Danny is that, you know, he's, he's a, a great captain. He's even a better guy. We've been friends for a long time. And I love to get on the boat with him and watch him work inside his estuaries and figure them out. It, 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 I always learn something when I'm fishing with Danny. You know, I don't, it's not every day that you can just come out here and catch, you know, big snook. I, I know you've been on this bite and it's been a good bite, but you know, to come out here just a couple of casts and get that kind of quality snook hooked up, that's pretty special. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. It is, we got, I think we're seven casts in. You had a, look like a smaller male jump off and then you boated the big female and then and then I had the little bit bigger female yeah. that got off. And, <laughs> right. So yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> you gotta love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> the Anderson Allen competition never ends. <laughs> <laughs> it can't. No. Nope. We won't let it. It's too bad we never fished any redfish tournaments together. I think we'd have, we'd have had some fun for sure. Oh, we'd had fun, yeah. <laughs> You know, I talk about Raymarine Electronics a lot as it being a, a great tool in my arsenal. Um, and it really proved positive this morning to have that side imaging, to be able to find those fish and not run over the top of them. You know, once the sun gets up, your boat casts a shadow down there. Uh, and sometimes just running that shadow over the top of those fish, no matter uh, whether you're on your trolling motor or your big motor, that can move those fish. It can make them uneasy. Um, to be able to pick those fish up on both sides of the boat, wherever they were sitting, and be able to make casts in that direction uh, was, was really paramount to our success this morning. So, you know, without great electronics like Ray Marine in the boat, you know, this morning's bite probably just doesn't happen. I got one, I think. Yeah, and he ate that right by the boat. Man. Right by the boat. Drilled it. Right by the boat. He was looking at it, sizing it up for a little bit there. Stay oh my, that rod holder about got me again. Stay down, don't come up with crazy on me. Yeah, this is more of that male variety. You think it's a sand trout? I think so. <laughs> no, it's a shark. Oh, it's a little cobia. Oh, it is a cobia. Yeah, a little cobia. I thought it was a little shark, but it's mm. cobia, which will happen with cobia. Yeah, all right. That makes this mate, that mistake gets made quite a bit. I might get in the net for this. Yeah? He got, they it's got under some, the seat. They got a little something going on there sometimes that hurts. It's under the seat right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Provoker just catches everything, baby. You gotta love some here, Lure Provoker. I thought it was a little male the way it was acting, a little male snook. Woo, what the world? Too much time in the jail. There we got it. I think we got it listening now. That little ball right there. There we go. We got it. Bro, I fixed it. I, I broke it and fixed it. There ain't nothing wrong with that. No, not a boy. <laughs> yeah, he figured nice that little, maybe not be the best idea. Nice little cove, a little green. A little green. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's one thing about Kobe. You bring a green Kobe in the boat. You better be ready for some action because they will come unhinged. I got you. Yeah. You want one or do you want one? Is that why you're reaching out so I get you oh, I'm Oh, I'm getting one. <laughs> I'm definitely getting one. <laughs> Not that you're doing better than me or anything, but I'm just saying I'm getting one because I like the way it looks. 
I like the way you release fish, Danny, taking your time. Make sure you get it right. These are my people. Yep. That's how it needs to be right there. That's a good lesson for everybody out there. Release them so you can catch them later when they're bigger. Mm -hmm. Beautiful job, Cap. You didn't tell me we could have a side of cobia this morning. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> 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 The plantation on Crystal River is a beautiful 50-year-old, 232-acre old Florida-style resort, offering comfortable accommodations and a full-service spa. They call this the Nature Coast for good reason. Fishing is spectacular, from snook, trout, and reds to big grouper and snapper. On-site activities range from golf to boating, fishing, and swimming with the manatees in the natural springs of Kings Bay. The Real Animals Fishing Show can't recommend a better place to stay on the nature coast than the plantation on Crystal River. You know, I've just Fishing the Tampa Bay area and having so many snook in shallow water or, you know, relatively shallow water. Uh, you know, maybe we fish some docks in eight or ten foot of water, but to have these fish kind of out in the open, um, just in this, you know, giant 15 to 20 foot trough uh, was really unique, you know, and I, I was a little hesitant when Danny said, hey, you know, here's the plan. We're going to take these giant one ounce jigs and you know, bounce these big baits right through the school of snook and, and get bit. Um, you know, but some of that is because of Cedar Key and because these fish haven't gotten a lot of pressure. Um, they haven't seen a lot of baits. So, you know, they're still relatively relaxed, you know, in a fishery, an estuary like Tampa Bay where I fish, where there's so many people and so many anglers, you know, there, there really isn't a spot where the fish don't get picked on. Up in a beautiful, old Florida place like Cedar Key, it's a different animal. And that's the beauty of that fishery and that estuary. Some of those fish have probably never, ever seen an artificial lure. This one's grown. Ah, uh, this one's grown, I think. I don't think this is a little one. Come on, baby. It is not happy. Me either. If you notice, too, that, that, <laughs> that first, the first fish that I stuck, that male came up and jumped right away. A lot of times these big females won't do that. Yeah, this they one's stay big. deep. Yeah, yeah, they stay deep. They don't. It wants to be down. There's low. so much body weight there. They don't usually jump crazy. Sometimes they'll stick their head out of the water and give you a big old shake. Oh, oh I got a little. I got a small visual. Yeah, yeah. Another good fish. Another right. good fish. That one's in the yap, so oh, we are yeah. very fortunate, I think, to get this one this close. Careful, girl, careful, careful, careful. Nice job, Danny, good handling. Always give slack as soon as your buddy or your better half, whatever it is, gets that fish in its hands and you wanna make sure there's slack in case that hook comes out, you don't jam it in their hand. Dang remote knows it won't stay in where it was supposed to be. There we go. Another, All right, you're clear, Bo. Another dandy. Mm. That one's gonna have some chafing. She's sassy. Look at the look at the girth. That is just beautiful, dude. Those That's fish this nice. time of year are gorgeous. She's real healthy, real clean. She looks good. Gorgeous snow. Mm. Nice job, buddy. Yes, sir. Nice job on your end. Hey gang, in this week's Real Animals Tackle Box, Captain Danny and I were using some pretty simple but effective gear. 
You know, first of all, we were fishing for big snook, so we had to step up the rods just a little bit. This is the Real Animal Signature Series Bull Bay Rods, 7, 6, 8 to 17 pounds. So this is a medium heavy, fast action rod. It's got really good backbone right here to kind of close that deal on those big snook. Went to a 4,000 Pen Clash 2. These are the high speed reels. Whenever I'm fishing in deep water, I like to go high speed. I just think that extra gear helps you out. We were using 15 pound Spiderwire Ultracast Invisibraid. We were using a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. Again, a little bit heavier than we normally use, but when you're fishing for big snook with that rough mouth, it's a no brainer. This was really the key this morning. Catching those really big snook was a one ounce jig head. Now this is a Berkeley Fusion jig head. You can see it's got a pretty big gap on it, big hook. This I believe was the absolute killer, the mirror lure provoker. This is a five inch jerk bait, comes in some great colors. We were using molting today. The reason I went for molting is because of all the mullet in this estuary. This is a great estuary for mullet. Um, and I just figured down here in this deep hole, those fish were probably gonna be seeing some Peter mullet coming through. And as soon as this bait right here got in front of them, they absolutely crushed it, okay? Now we were using the same rod on the triple tails. Again, that backbone, that heavy structure, fishing around those markers, really, really important. One of the keys to this was, I believe, was the new penny color. Now we were using uh, some Berkeley Gulp that Danny had in the boat, but I think even if you went to something in New Penny from even a paddle tail like Strike King's Glass Middle Redfish Magic here, this is a four inch, they make it in a three inch. I just think the color on that bait was really perfect for the color of the water we were fishing in. Same tackle though, 15 pound braided line, 40 pound fluorocarbon leader because of the structure. Again, the Pen Class 2s, the Bull Bay Rods, all this gear right here got it done for us today. This is all you need to do, exactly what Danny and I did in Cedar Key today. Get yourself hooked up, get out there and catch you some fish. Get him, get him, out boy. Oh, nice fish, too. Uh, nice triple tail. Yep. God, look at that thing. Wow. Nice trip. He ain't, he, ain't, he ain't done anything yet. No. Nice triple tail. Let me get the uh, let me get the net. Yeah, he's back there. It's back there folded up on the... No, it ain't. I put it up. So watch no, no. Oh, you put it up? Yeah, oh, I, put I didn't it up know that. it's bad luck. Oh, boy. Waiting on you, big daddy. All right, I got you. Okay. That's a really big triple tail. Calm nice, down nice there, big fella. Or big mama, whichever one. Nice fish. All right, about time you showed up. All right, let's get him right here. Come on. You talk to me later. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I told, I told that fish to hook you up like that. All right, there we go. Right there. Come on. Got her up now. Woo, daddy. Dude. <laughs> that's Boom. Stud. What I'm talking about. Wow. That's <laughs> one of the biggest shrivel tails I've ever been on the boat for. Can I? That's a good one. Boom. Big snook, big triple tail. You're just a little sick. <laughs> it's a little sick and twisted right there. Look at that beauty. Got it. Wow. Slurped it. That's why I said she wants some love and look like she's looking at Mike like, oh, look at him. Hey, hey good looking. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> looking, look at at me, looking at me sideways. That's right. I want to take her eyes off tail. of you. I mean, this, that's, a true, that's a true dinosaur right there. I mean, seriously. Beautiful. Those scales, super tough skin and scales on them. What a great fish. That is an epic day of fishing, my friend. You can absolutely put it together, kid. You can. You just put it together. It all worked. I love coming to see you, brother. I always Good like stuff. having you myself, Bubba. Cedar Key is just a great town to be in. Accommodations were great. Food was great. Fishing with my boy was great. Can't beat it. You know, I, there's certain guys that you just, you just click with on a boat. Um, and I've been blessed. I, I, I got a bunch of them. And, and Captain Danny Allen is one of those guys. Um, it doesn't matter where I see them, you know, throughout the year, we're, we're at some events together here and there. Um, it, it's always like a brotherhood. 
Uh, ever since the first time I met Danny again, 12, 13, 14 years ago, whatever it is now, um, you know, we just kind of hit it off. Uh, we're both very competitive, so we kind of pick on one another. And, you know, he's, he's put a whooping on me some days, and I've been able to get him on other days. And, uh, and, and we never let one another forget those days either. So um, it's always a great trip up here to Cedar Key to fish with Danny. Again, you know, I, I can't recommend this guy enough, Southern Salt Charters. He is an absolutely, he's a quality guy, quality guide, and, and somebody that uh, I'll be back to fish with again. Get down there a little bit. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. boy. That's a good one, too. Nice fish. Good fish. Nice triple tail. Nice triple tail. Look at that pretty mm -hmm. fish. Woo! Perfect little slot there on the low end. Just gotta be careful. They got some gill rakers that will light you up, boy. <clears throat> yeah, just like that. Almost got my thumb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Almost got my thumb. You know, it's interesting that we were just talking about with the direction of the tide and that buoy line lay in that direction, wanting to get just possibly, if we could just get underneath that buoy, maybe that would draw the strike. And it looked like your bait did just that, got underneath and boom, there that fish was. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we both presented probably five or six of the right cast. It just, we finally irritated him clearly or enough or just finally got his attention, whatever it was. But yeah, you, you're right on the money there. He was, he was hanging in that little tiny dab of shade. Yeah, yeah. Nice fish, yeah. nice fish. Let's get in the water, get it released, yeah, huh? Yeah.